what we've done here is we've already got our prep on our machine and we took the cowling off and all of these connectors out that are by the way every one of them is labeled you just push this in and it comes right out I've got this cover peeled back that's where our new cables are going to mount and here's the dogs that they will mount to and then back here we have two holes we've knocked out and we're going to use those holes to run our new cables in from the back. Um, I have the electric over hydraulic third switch. So I just left it like this, taking this off. We pulled one big plastic pin back here and then just had to kind of wiggle the hydraulic, I mean the cowling out after we got the top off. I'll show you the top in a minute. But there is a lock on this hydraulic back here and you have to get your cowling to come out so we did remove the floor liner to make that easier let me show you the instrument panel this is it right here so my three-point lever is here that knob screws off i tried to pull it off it doesn't pull and then there is a screw here one right in here and one here and then this uh, comes out from underneath uh, the rubber in the back. And then you just keep wiggling it until she comes up. And then pull all of your electric switches out. Now I have a switch that's in the wrong place. So I'm going to have to move one of these, I think, just to get it right. So anyway, we're there. And then we, we, took, our, we took our fender off. And this was right here on top of three bolts here these are the three bolts we'll mount our scv on so i had to take these off there these were nutted to some bolts here and those nuts you'll save to use on the scv the bolts that were up in here that held the front of this on i had to get those loose and wiggle them because they wouldn't come out all right so that's where we're at and now we're going to be uh, by the way, here's the cowling right here. Also, for, for convenience sake, I took the three-point quick attach off, and that's laying over there, and I rolled the tire back over there. All right, down here, you can see that way up here, that you can't see, way up here are the two holes that we're going to use to run our cables in. Now, let me show you. I'm going to pre-mount the cables to the SCV box. I don't know if you're supposed to, but these cap screws that hold this on to the valve body, here's one here. This is a four millimeter hex drive, and you can just take those out like this, because I have them loose. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put my cables on uh, before I mount this box and see if I can do that and make it a little easier. This is the end that goes to this. Now, there's a little pin in here holding this yoke on. All you have to do is tap on it. And it falls out. Then this comes off. And that's what we need. So we're gonna we're gonna take. Uh, I don't, it doesn't matter which one here. Although my cables one's longer than the other, and we've decided that the longer cable goes on number five. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna thread it on here. And I've already put the lock nut on. I've already slid that on the cable. And we're going to go down until the solid end of that cable cover is sticking out. Now, um, here's a mistake you don't want to make. I should also place this on first because that will have to go over this. Alright, so I'm threading that on there again.
and there's my cable sticking out. Now, I'm going to thread the yoke onto here. I'm going to do it till it's tight. Now, I'm before I do this, I'm going to put a little Loctite right in here. I'm using the blue, the medium thread. And then I'm going to take this off. I'll stick it back on here. And this pin will only go in one side. So one side it'll go in and one it won't. And so you uh, need to make sure that you get the right side. And there's the side. It's not marked. Uh, except the numbers happen to be on this side. And that's how you attach it back here. Which I can go ahead and do. And I'm going to uh, just tap that down so it's even. And then I'll do my Loctite. And then I'm going to thread this back down. And I'm going to put the cap screw back on like this one. And I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it loose because I'm going to need to do some adjustment on the cables. All right. So this is going to come down after I put some Loctite on that. All right. That's how you do that.